incident response trends, uh, what we've been seeing out in the industry, uh, what we've been seeing with our clients, and things that we all need to be aware of. Um, a little bit about me here. Let's, there we go. Um, I am uh, the practice lead for our cybersecurity services here at Ide Bailey. Uh, we do offensive testing, we do cybersecurity advisory work, uh, we do managed security services, and we make sure that things are implemented securely. So we try to be very well rounded in what we offer for cybersecurity services. Um, and I have been, uh, well, looking at the calendar uh, right by my clock here, uh, I've been in IT for a really long time, apparently. I started my IT career getting paid somewhere around uh, the year 2000, so I've been around for a while. All right, well, I wanna jump in first on just some things that are happening around all of us that may, we may not be aware, aware of. Um, you know, one of the big things right now is the speed at which things happen. And, and we're going to emphasize that as we start getting into uh, some of the uh, trends and, and some of the examples later here. Uh, but one of the big things that, that really is a little bit frightening here is ransomware actors, we have live examples of 30 minutes from the point of uh, compromise to the point where they have access data and are starting encryption operations. 30 minutes, we don't have a long time to, to respond when bad things start to happen in our environments. Speaking a little bit more about ransomware, when we start talking about, we'll just pay uh, and we'll get all of our stuff back. Well, on average, people who do pay only get 64% 60 for, 60 of their data back. Um, due to encryption errors or uh, maybe something went wrong on the ransomware actor's side uh, due to the speed of them working through your environment. Uh, maybe things didn't come up correctly, but when we start thinking about things like a database or a bootable Windows system or a bootable Linux, any system that you're trying to start up, what happens when you only get 64% of that data back? Is it actually usable? What happens if you're trying to restore an application and you only have 64% of it? Is it even usable? Can you even start the application or do you need to invest in uh, a very expensive data recovery operation trying to salvage what data you can and build a working system? Um, I know in recovery systems, if we are missing even just the slightest bit of boot records from, from recovering our servers or our workstations, they're not bootable. We can't get them back and we need to take additional efforts to recover that data, rebuild systems, and then try and get that data into uh, the new system. So just because you pay doesn't mean that you're gonna get your information back. The average uh, cost to remediate the ransomware attack in the US, and so this is US specific statistic from Sophos, 2.2. 09 million, just a little over $2 million. And so let's examine that a little bit. What are the impacts to, let's say, a manufacturing facility that suddenly has to offline their whole production line? Um, they have to send employees home because they got nothing for them to do. Uh, they may have to lay employees off because they have a loss of business and not being able to meet contractual requirements on delivering specific things that they said they were going to deliver. Um, this is, this is a big number. This is uh, where it starts to get in a lot cheaper to prevent these types of things rather than having to recover from them after the fact. Uh, Sophos also put out in their latest uh, state of the ransomware from 2022, uh, average time to recover from a ransomware attack is about a month. So what are we gonna do when our businesses have no IT, no systems, no things that rely on computers for a month? How does that impact our business? I know most businesses that I work with, three days would be substantially forever changing their, their business. Uh, they probably wouldn't go out of business after three days of downtime, but how they serve their clients, how their clients interact with them, um, it's gonna be forever changed. And to think about a month, um, uh, that, that could be crippling to an organization.